Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video where um, we are going to be put on a watch list. Not the watch later list on YouTube, but the watch list from organizations with three letters. And this is because I saw a post that Lisa, the book eclectic, put on her um, story on Instagram. And we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. But because of this, we talked about it in the live stream on Sunday. And we were all kind of like, oh, yeah, dude, I totally, totally, totally been there. Oh, my gosh. And so what this video is about, really, is the if you are a writer, are you ever worried about your Google searches? Like, do you ever start to type something in and then you're like, oh, is this going to... Is this going to red flag or trigger something to where motherfuckers are going to be watching me now and all this other shit? Because especially if you write horror or mysteries or anything like that, like, you could be Googling some shit. So this post originally, I guess, was from someone called The Chosen Half of One. And they got that from Tumblr, I think. And then the person who posted it on Instagram was Writers Helping Writers Angela, which is quite the tag or handle. And um, this is what Lisa um, posted to her story. So it's um, this week's episode of I Swear I'm a Writer. And it's a bunch of, like, Google search things. First one. Costs to hire a hitman. Second one. Where to stab someone in the leg. I think you answered your own question right there. Um, common occult rituals. Ingredients for a Molotov cocktail. Police procedures in Canada. Signs someone might be a werewolf. And then finally, top radio hits of 2007. So, like, that, it's, it's fucking comical as shit. And, um, if you are a writer, I'm sure you fucking done this. Because especially when I was writing the Zombie Zero books... I was freaking out because, like, the whole idea behind me writing the Zombie Zero books was I wanted to write books about zombies, but if it was real, like, if science and everything still moved the way that it does in everyday life, you know, how would these things be different like how would all this stuff work so i'm typing in my google search um how long would it take for a body to completely decompose in 90 degree weather and i remember typing that and going hmm could this flag something somewhere and then the thing that was cracking me up more about it was the fact that you can find this information, okay? Like, like I might be crazy for looking it up, but somebody was crazy enough to put that information on the interwebs. You know what I'm saying? So because that was so easy to find, I'm like, oh, how long does it take for a body to decompose in 50-degree weather? And I was just starting to fuck around and, like, going back and forth and all this shit. And then I looked up, um, like, uh, like what acid do you use to, like, dissolve bones and all this shit? And then will this acid, um, like, melt plastic? 
and all this other shit. And just like going through all of this stuff. And then I was thinking, I'm like, oh my God. I better look some stuff up to like put them off my trail if I have now been put on their trail. So like I'm trying to like look up like fun, charitable things. And I think at the end of the day, what this did is it made me look like if someone was going to like check me out, oh, this guy's going to start um, picking up victims at the Salvation Army. <laughs> This nut job is going to go to some, uh, I don't know, church food drive and start um, putting people in totes. So, like, you can never, like, fix it. You know, you can never, like, unfuck up your Google search. It's, it's just hysterical. So, basically, what I want to know from you all is this. What is the craziest stuff you have Google searched when trying to write a book? And I will preface it by saying when trying to write a book on the off chance that some of you out there watching this are insane and you're like, oh, I could tell you right now what I Google searched. And I'm like, no, 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 no. If you're writing a book and you're doing research, what did you fucking Google search? That's the craziest thing. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, everybody. So that's that. Um, run on over to my Etsy shop. Pick up Last Chance, uh, poems about Last Chance gas stations. Later this week, Blood Rag Issue 5 is out, and this one is a beast. I'm very excited about it, and I don't want to talk too much more about it. Basically, I, I need to order more paper so I can print all these out. Um, I'm running low. So, um, yeah, you know, end of everything, it's on Amazon, go get it, or if you want one of the signed copies, um, I don't know how many I have left, but there was only 125 originally, and I think I'm in the 80s now, so however many that is, and then if you want um, Fingering the Mundane, this is only available on Amazon, um, so you can pick that up. You can pick all sorts of stuff up. And I'm going to, once the paper arrives, I'm going to have a new chat book too as well. So that should be fun. Okay. So keep buying my books, guys. Type hard. And I will talk to you later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.